Tyler Buns was through Edmonton recently with the Medicine Hat Tigers, and while he's progressing through his third season as a starter in Med Hat, he's also in constant contact with the Oilers organization that drafted him 121st overall two years ago. Yeah, they do a great job with that, with their player development, uh, with Billy Moores. He, uh, they do a great job with um, you know keeping in touch, uh, making sure we're achieving goals as we set uh, for two for the two weeks, and um, especially when you're not healthy, they they really make sure what's going on. Um, they email you and, and whatnot. So um, throughout the year, they're always in touch. They do a great job with that, and um, you know it's a it's a pretty first class it's a first class organization. I mean, um, as a young guy, you, you don't know what goes on behind the scenes, but. Um, you know, their, their staff do a great job of, of making sure that not only the players on the team, but their prospects are, are doing well. Buns is having another fantastic year in the WHL, and the Oilers are certainly taking notice. What he's done is he's taken that personal responsibility to really grow his own game. And uh, he's a big, a big goaltender, uh, not the 6'4", but he's probably 6'2". Uh, he stays up, he, he has a good blend between when to go down into a butterfly and when to stay up. And what he's done is he's really learned to hone in some parts of his game, for example, his puck handling. So uh, he's made real good progress and uh, had a bit of a setback with not making the world junior, but didn't let that affect him. The adversity helped him in a way in that he's had a, a very, very good second half. As well as things are going in the hat, it's difficult to not think about what the future holds for Tyler within the Oilers organization. I think so. I think every guy kind of goes through that in their mind and, and sets goals and dreams for themselves. And um, you know, I'm hoping next year I can play in the AHL and um, play there for a few years before making the next step to the NHL. I know that uh, goalies do take a little while to develop. Uh, it's a little bit different of a position and um, like I said, it just takes a little bit a little bit of time. You need to develop yourself uh, mentally and maturely. So um, you know, I'm hoping that it takes a couple years to do that and uh, before you know it, I'm hoping to be in the NHL uh, as a backup and work my way to a starter. He's one of the better goaltenders of top two or three in the Western Hockey League in terms of, in terms of average and save percentage. So he's playing with his uh, players his age and he's excelling. So uh, everything indicates that he has the opportunity to move up and uh, not knowing a lot about goaltending, as I say, I would expect that he would move up and be a real good goaltender. While the Oilers are having a difficult season this year, the future for the team is something that Buns can't wait to be a part of. It's pretty exciting to watch because it's a young team. They're going through some growth and um, some development. And, um, I'm hoping that one day I can be a part of that. For now, Tyler Buns' focus is to guide the Medicine Hat Tigers as deep as possible into the WHL playoffs, but when life is done with the black and orange, he can't wait to get the next steps of his career started with the blue and orange. Jordan Greenlee, Shaw TV, Capital Region.